Hi friends, I'm Karan from Team Must. In this video, I'll show you how to solve bot and stream problems. So let's begin. First of all, let us understand what do you mean by downstream and upstream. If the bot is moving in the direction of the stream, then we call it as downstream. But if the bot is moving in the opposite direction of the stream, so we call it as upstream. In the downstream, the speed of the boat increases because the river is also flowing in the same direction and both the speeds add up. But in the upstream, the speed of the boat decreases because the direction of the river is indifferent. So let's see the first insight. Let's say the speed of the boat in the still water is u kilometers per hour. So then we have the speed of the stream equals to v kilometer per hour. Then the speed of the boat in downstream will be equals to u plus v kilometers per hour and the speed of boat in upstream will be equals to u minus v kilometers per hour. So let's go to the inside two. Let the speed of the boat in downstream equals to a and the speed of the boat in upstream equals to b kilometers per hour. So now the speed of the boat in the still water will be equals to a plus b divided by 2 kilometers per hour and the speed of stream will be equals to a minus b divided by 2 kilometers per hour. You have to remember this thing. We'll use this in the next following problems. Let's take a problem. A man can row upstream at 7 km per hour and downstream at 10 km per hour. So find the man's rate in still water and rate of the current. First of all we have the speed of the downstreams equals to 10 km per hour and the speed of upstream equals to 7 km per hour. So according to the formula the speed of the boat in still water is equal to a plus b divided by 2 which gives us 10 plus 7 divided by 2 equals to 8.5 kilometers per hour. Next we have the speed of current which is a minus b divided by 2 equals to 10 minus 7 divided by 2 which gives us 1.5 kilometers per hour. Let's see the problem too. A boat can travel with a speed of 13 kilometers per hour in still water if the speed of the stream is 4 kilometers per hour find the time taken by the boat to go 68 km downstream. So first of all we have the speed of the downstream which is equal to the speed of boat in still water plus speed of the stream which is equal to 13 plus 4 equals to 17 km per hour. Next we have the distance equal to 68 km and the speed equal to 17 km per hour. So we have to find the time, we will use the formula distance equals to speed into time. So now we have time equals to distance upon speed which is 68 by 17 equals to 4 kilometers per hour. This is the answer. Let's see another problem. A motorboat whose speed is 15 kilometers in still water goes 30 kilometers downstream and comes back in a total of 4 hours and 30 minutes. The speed of the stream in kilometer per hour is. So we have to find the speed of the stream in kilometers per hour. So we got let's say the speed of the stream equals to x kilometers. So now we have the speed of downstream equals to 15 plus x and the speed of upstream will be equals to 15 minus x. Pretty simple right. So next we have the total time given which is equals to 4.5 hours which is the sum of the time taken to go downstream and the time taken to go upstream. But remember in both the cases distance is 30 kilometers. So we have a total kilometer distance of 60 kilometers. So we use distance upon time gives us distance upon speed gives us time. So we write 30 upon 15 plus x is the time taken to go downstream and 30 upon 15 minus x gives us the time taken to go upstream. So when we add both of them it's a total time equals to 4.5. So when we solve this equation we get the x equals to 5 kilometers per hour which is our answer. 
so now guys a lot of more videos are coming up do subscribe to team us channel and please share us on facebook and you can write the feedbacks about this video in the comment section below so until then be must and keep rocking goodbye